James, a 2-2 draw with Falkirk this afternoon. Your thoughts on the 90 minutes, please? Yeah, I don't think we started the first half particularly well. We, the problems in the game were our kind of our own making. We weren't dealing with, with balls into our box. We weren't getting enough on the, on the clearing season. It was causing us a bit of bother. Falkirk changed completely to the way they normally do play. They were, they were very direct. So I think that's credit to our players. It's the fourth game in now and, and Falkirk are obviously trying to find a way to to beat us and, and they got their, their two goal lead but the one thing with this team is you know that they're, they're never beaten they're never they're never down and they'll keep fighting to the end and and the players showed that today again yeah it was it was great straight from kickoff after the second goal to to get that goal back through Craig White and it really changed the momentum of the game and to get the equaliser before half time it, it made it a different team talk I'm sure yeah, although, although even when you are 2-0 down and we've been in this situation, the difference today was we had a massive away, away crowd behind us. We've had it at home, we've had it at Airdrie. So, regardless of the team talk, or regardless of getting that next goal, the team talk would have been very similar at half-time, is that they know they'll never beat you. I don't need to tell them that now. They, they keep fighting, they give everything for this football club every single minute of every game. And, and you've got to deal with setbacks. That, that's football. You're going to have setbacks in a season, setbacks during games. So... The character and the personalities in that group to do that, and it, it does help. And actually, we could have went in three two up. It was a great move, and, and Matty just doesn't get enough on the header. So that that would have been that that would have changed it completely then. But no, I think going in just reassuring them that stick to what we're doing. We were the team trying to play football when we got the ball down and moved it. Then I, I think we we looked pretty comfortable in the game, and we had to deal with a lot of direct balls, but. I, that, that's football, we deal with a lot of that in this league so to get back in, to come for, a, for two goals down and, and then come out in the second half again, it was another stuffy game with a load of direct balls that, that we were better at in the second half but I don't know how much the conditions played a part as well because it was pretty difficult so if I was offered the point at 2-0 down would I have taken it? Probably but knowing this group you, you always know that they're going to come back uh, in a way and um, look, we wanted to come here and win the game, but we've had to settle for eight points out of 12 against a, a Falkirk turn out to be our nearest rivals come the end of the season, I'm not sure. So that's credit to the players and, and the other credit to them is that they've got a team that have got a real identity, um, playing, a, playing a different brand of football or a different way of football today to just find a way to beat them. But no, the players stood up well and they were backed by a fantastic away support. A quick turnaround to Tuesday and Peter Hedda. A different kind of challenge, but but one that we we could go and look forward to now. Yeah, I th I don't know the score today, but it'll be it'll be a similar game. Um, they're at home; they'll they'll try and put a lot of pressure on us. But we've got to go up. We've got to focus on what what we can do to hurt Peter Head and and go up there. And look, we're now 19 games, I believe, unbeaten as well. So that keeps it going, and we're never going to let that go away without a fight. So delighted for the players that they got that back, and, and we'll look to continue that on Tuesday night. And I'm sure uh, the numbers will be just as great on Tuesday night. A, a long trip up north, but I don't think that will deter the Dunfermline support. Well, I hope so. Um, I'd love to see 2,000 up there as well. But the, the support have been fantastic, home and away. And that mutual appreciation at the end between the players, staff and supporters was, was very much um, our way showing them that just how much we appreciate them. That they've travelled down here, they wanted to see us win down here. Um, and... And we are we are delighted to have that backing any time we, we play in. And that's twice now they've came, they've sold the, the full away end out and, and we're all desperate for tickets. So that's a thank you from the players and staff to them for every week, not just this week, but, but we were happy to go over and it was another great moment.